Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Terra Cactus, and this is, <clears throat> well, this is Delta Run. I went back, tried to go kill Jubble, didn't work out. I tried to pacify him, I tried to fight him, it just wasn't gonna work. We spent a good two episodes on it. I didn't want to spend any more time with it. I spent at least four hours not recording trying to get it, and it just didn't work. So, I I'm not spending more than five hours on it. <coughs> hey there, Lancer. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lighteners I command? No, but we did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could be just talk to you and... They're alive! Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. For Susie, she's a purple and strong and... Where are they now? Um... Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Y yes father Do you remember what I told you? Get, don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimental with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lance. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious cult. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you kneel in the place. What will it be, Lightens? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll kill. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lighteners. What the? You. You. You traitor. Come back here. All right. Enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you, I'm the bad guy. Did you try to reason? All right, let's go. Answers, my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. All right, you want it? I can do that, huh? Susie will. Susie's will is changing. Talk became a red monster. How dare you come here, right nose? Gave a berserk smile. Where is old try to reason with the king? You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if you try, we can all find another way. Such simple minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Where is your change? Talk became dual heel. You wouldn't have left us in a shadow stripped of meat. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightener. 
Your very existence goes against our own. By the night's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will has changed and become courage. You dare return to torment us again. Encourage the parties and the is raised for this turn. Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. For the night has appeared. King's Mark, Babylon, Sensation. The night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Darkness pours from the fountain. Holy fountains, those shadows are creating a new world. Oh, what? <laughs> Do you see our new purpose? Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness. The darkness shall rule it. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Ha, huh, you're quite strong, aren't you? If I keep fighting you like this, then...
It seems that. I... I see. You're much stronger than I envisioned. Lightness, I... Perhaps I've been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill the purpose and peace. It would be a lie that I would too. Do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, now Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes friends That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies, I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? L let's see. Never better. Y you Did I say you could get up? Chris? Oh, spare me the heroics. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? to laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity. You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. <laughs> hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> oh, what? Surely you don't realize. How exhausted I am, Lightning. Any hit from you would kill me. Why not do it, Lightning? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. <laughs> nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid Lightning. You honestly think you have any way? to convince me not to kill you. Just wait a second. Wait for what? <laughs> huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Why, you little... You sweet little pumpkin. <laughs> hey, Chris, are you all right? <laughs> that was so close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'd never forget something I made fun of you for. Chris, Susie, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost, we almost... Susie, you were right. I... It was foolish to think we could all be soft to everyone. This isn't the world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay. Lancer, hey. Sorry, I kind of beat up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh, that wasn't even looking like he's in a beauty nap. That's good, he seems cranky. Man, I gotta say that again. Eh, Lancer, what was that noise? Oh, I actually came to warn you, Clownings. I informed the guys you were fighting my dad, but instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, um, 
break into the doors, throne room? <laughs> well, uh, that's not the best. Chris, Susie, it seems we must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yes, of course, no goodbyes. We're bad guys. We only have bad buys. <laughs> you learned a lot, huh? Only from the best of the worst. Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. Susie, Chris, we must say goodbye then. Oh my, I just wanted to say I... I really enjoyed meeting you two and... Hey, can you stop numbling your hat and sex? I can barely hear you, dude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make lots of yummy cakes, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. This is it, the fountain. Dunno how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it. Not now. Right now. It's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was growing. Can't see anything. Hey, watch it. D huh? Yunyu's classroom. How did we get here? Hey, uh, Chris? What? What just happened? Like, it wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway. As I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find each other. Man, that sun's already setting. Everyone else has gone home by now. Guess Alphys knows better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Ring, ring. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for an hour and a half. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had a poor mother world sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A, a friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventure a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. For a bit. Chris, you survived. I was getting worried. But now that you'll pay off your family debt, I will just draw a dragon. 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. 
Chris, sir. Uh, Caddy's work, I'm so starting on the project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of the soccer ball 73 times. Gotta go to college, so time to study hard. It's ready a comic full of hot human guys. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should read them. Read them. You look through the window in this computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working on a computer. Seems like it's making its name. Seems like it shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up completely. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Uh, just wish something would sh shake things up. <laughs> you got something to report? Uh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob a bank, I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. How am I supposed to get past that blue lady? I'm stuck! I guess I should just run away. Oh, it's you. You're here to pay the piano again? Patients can hear it well from here, but they personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Point. Castle White Wizards, regulated to healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. <laughs> Dad, I just can't say that to her. Oh my god, I die, I literally die. No well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. <laughs> R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, Dragon Blaze 3. Beat it yet? Nah, yeah, I'm still on my ice palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No well. Maybe, maybe you should. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it here next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I better go. I got home. Oh, that's a group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nedley? It sounds Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'd kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him in the window and I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my good home bells. Where's the Christmas came in early? All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom ask me to come? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago when I just... That creepy kid. It wasn't too long ago you were just that creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Chris, not even if I were grown up harder, we'd still love you. After all, it means Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asgore's off of college, you think he's doing crazy bodies like me and your dad? <laughs> he's just pulling your leg. Your dad was no body animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whoo! She always had a fuss about going on when party started. Yikes, man. Once she did hit it clear across the room with a key lime pie. Kind of smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Want to chat or something? Don't worry. There's no way I can bore me right now. 
She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? To my kid, sweet, couldn't ask for a better dog. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Remember, she even used to be afraid of humans under the bed. <laughs> it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, it's just somehow tough being here, Chris. I don't know what's going on with me, but it's just that. In the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye on her, okay? Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bomb me right now. So, uh, why am I here? Well, I found some crap, so I just got some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal, nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Just go back to it, I don't know. Yelling at for getting tangled in the lights display. <laughs> Knocked on the door of the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just close the blinds. Police tap, black not tape away. Tape some the reason. <laughs> hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? See you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. My name's Sam. Sam Skelton. I'm new in town. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, it's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. What's up? Friends. We just moved in here. I hardly know him. Why? The guy the one I should know better. Oh, the tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. All right, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whatever you'll feel like. What's up? We just moved in here, so I have to know. I got no one to know better. Elvis, yeah, I know about it. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Said she was part of the mob. She opened up the case and stuffed it full of in some noodles. Paid in small bills, and slunk out of this place, jammed trailing on the floor. Anyways, our relationship is uh, purely business. Well, oh, uh, I guess I'll just, uh, I could do a thing. Oh, what's up? <laughs> we just moved in here. I'll be the only one, by the one I should know better. Your mother, huh? <laughs> Too late. I already befriended your mother last night. She's great, came to the store and buy chocolate cookies. She said she's got a lock her door and stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Fucking Sam. Hey, bud. You're busy tomorrow. I need some help or something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Wow. You answer quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. <laughs> What are you gonna be doing? Oh, I'm, I'm not going in there. That'd be weird. I'm just gonna be a little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But there's some trousers with bones. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, are you the human that lives in the top town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Knock, knock. Huh? That sounds like a knock of the beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris! Survive Susie, huh? I mean, I never saw her beat up anyone, but, uh, gotta be careful. Like, the well, one time me and Snowy got... The jock in town? Jocks in and playing a handball? And she just kept creeping up, watching us from the corner. Then, then a ball rolled over and she just, uh, rolled solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could right into the office of Undyne's car. And then Undyne came out smiling, cracked up with knuckles, and totally wiped us the handball. And, uh, Susie sucks, Chris. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss the class of the Hurricanes in its fair. <laughs> Have you been skipping class, my dad? Never let me hear you, never. <laughs> That's actually, even remotely funny. 
knock, knock, knock. Oi, Snowy, what are you telling? You're knocking at the door in your head. Don't you do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. Even with your arms, you know. Oh, Chris, uh, Chris, you, you're okay? It's really worried about you, didn't you come back? Where, where'd you go? Did you skip class? What? Well, don't worry about it. I'm a cool teacher, you know, so I'm not gonna get you in trouble. But, well, let me know if you need anything. out of the heartland of idiot babies. Who's pressed one for idiots and two for babies? Three for idiot babies and four for none. Ah, you're an idiot. To tell you the truth, I want to. That's why I try the best, okay? Special. Do you have any edible glitter? <coughs> My youngest won't eat anything else but look like treasure. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Hey there! Haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays after service, we'd all and your family come down to the old corner. Of course, things happened and y'all stopped coming together. Every day Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at the table in the corner, draw the shapes in the window in your bed. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got a hot chocolate. On the house, huh? Look at my rugged body. You must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all the leftover pancakes in this giant house. Ice Wolf doesn't like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. So, for two girls, that'll be crepes and cinnamon latte. You two bunnies prefer a piece of firewood? I'd like a vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, cinnamon drinks wouldn't really set the fire elemental. I've got nerves just to melt all the ice. Lace me up, lace me up, boss! Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employers are outside in costume. Would you be interested in trying to buy our many 24 pieces of flavors? We've got normal, cheap, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperosi, and more stopped on Icy's Pizza. Oh god, someone's actually here. <laughs> Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for piping hot piece of pizza. <laughs> hey, wait, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Do you wanna know how he's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet if he cruise around though like the old times. Freaking up any example. Chicks, which is a matter of course, maybe actually happens. <laughs> but hey, it's not in contact with me. While she was waiting and speeding ticket. <laughs> hey, little buddy, what's up? Ah, uh, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft sir, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me. <laughs> And the warrior, thankfully absent due to the pizza-related injuries, constantly terrorizing costumes with a chance. Purple guy. Man, that guy, Kigata. Actually, doesn't guy even work here? Uh, my co-workers, well, I'd be without them. A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Hey, little buddy, what's up? Make no mistake, little buddy. I see pizza is hell. I can't slack off in seconds without hearing B team player, there's no iron pizza. Yes, there is, you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've got saving up to go to college where Asia is. 
And then I'll get a theater degree and become a famous actor. And then the fangirls roll those little buddy. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground beneath it. Stick your finger into the hole of the table. Stick fingers don't do anything on the top of it anymore. You try it from below. Your hand becomes covered in cobwebs. True. Nothing better than hanging on a lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. watering these flowers. There we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris! Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Things like hugs like that. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. Can you help yourself to anything you like? Azrael comes home, we can all go out to dinner, just like old times. My trip. Does not sound yummy? We could all have a nice drive around town. Might even clean out my own truck, but... Then we could all have a nice drive around town. It's a blue flower protected by the container. I get the reference. Yeah, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of in this climate. It's an air mattress, but it's certainly not king size. Hey Chris, do you want to sleep over? We could use the air mattress and I could use those bags as well, perhaps not. Small TV on top of a superhero comic. This rusty fridge with some photos in it. Oh, Chris. If you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. A photo of your mother and father on their way. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reminder of looking at a monster stands nearby a tuxedo. They look happy. All this inside is a jar of a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. There's some dirty funk in the sink tray. The door is locked. Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secrets. We got some bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you, uh, prance on home? See, it's been a long time, no see. I thought that you want to talk about something. Oh, I click the door, drive me nuts. I keep staring everywhere. I go in the total copycat. Like, why don't I just got be nice? You never be me honestly. The whole family is not so trashy. Oh, it's just so many cops. I swear to have to catch her. Like, I got a haircut and a girl black a whole body. Creepy line, one time no see. What's up? Do you want to talk about something? Remember the time you wanted to go hang out with the big kids? It was like, yeah, of course, we just gotta get some burgers. And then it was like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. And then it was a dozen mince cakes. And it was like, so good, and sick. And then like, finally, I got sick and had to go home. Man, it's like, anyway, Chris, what, you busy? Chris, see, like, by the time I see what's up, did you want to talk about something? Oh, I can always talk about you almost day long. Yeah, I'm joking, but, like, Remember the time I played the truth of death with Abby? I was like, made him give him that first kiss. And your mom found out, and she kissed someone. And, like, I think I basically found out my mom. 
I thought your family went in church and I have to think the tale, but wait. Hey, neighbor, my neighbor. It's your brother, dog. Come by. <laughs> my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's got his problem, but he doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> Really crispy, like what's all good? Oh, it's kind of good. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, I can talk to a something. Actually, like anything though, your choice. Oh my god, I have real, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when him and I went to dance? Like, it was like the best thing ever. If we were to spill the entire punch bowl all over him and dance appropriately in front of your mom, I got arrested in the parking lot making a scene. <laughs> it was so much fun, tell my said hi. Chrissy, did you want to talk about something? Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We are, like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play a, a ukulele. She said no. Like then, like I told me, I'm playing is anti-blessing from a planet hell. And I'm like, what the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaking little fit. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, I'll it when you wake up. But do not eat it all the time, right? What is it, honey? Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, aren't they? Well, well, well enough, Chris. I will find some place for them. so much. Someday soon you'll be going off to university as well. Remember, you're little. You asked when your horns would grow in, so we bought some headbands for your little red horns on it. You wore it for months. What happened to it? Chris, what is it, honey? Because since all I have now is living here right now, it feels a bit lonely, doesn't it? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Chris, what is it, honey? Remember that video game you and Asmi used to play? What was name called? Super Smash and Fighters? There was very little heat about the green lizard. We could have had a birthday party with the team around it. Your father painted all the eggs and the spots and decorations. And your brother loved it. So the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since he hated that book about eating green eggs. Your butter got some in pie. So cool. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. Did you go to bed? You decided to go to bed. the 
the shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our Don't forget it, I'm with you in the dark. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tara Cactus, and this was Chapter One. I hope to see you when we get to chapter two. Ta-ta.